A massive cleanup is underway in Isla Vista this week. It's an annual event that always marks the end of the UCSB school year. News Channel reporter John Palminteri joins us live with that. And John, most items are tossed out, as we see next to you, but some are then resold. The Isla Vista population is disappearing right now, but what is reappearing is all of their leftovers. And a massive cleanup is underway right now to get rid of all this clutter. When thousands of students move out of Isla Vista after the UC Santa Barbara school year, it's a daunting task to clean up what's left behind. The amount of litter is just incredible. I mean, not only is it disruptive, but it can be dangerous. The Isla Vista Community Services District and Isla Vista Beautiful are all in on getting everything out. They're using earth comb workers who are or have been homeless. They are now paid for this work. I've never seen somebody just go out there like they have with absolutely no hesitation and they are willing to take care of any piece of trash that they see. It's a one month contract with Earth Comb and there's no shortage of work. Okay. June 8th to July 8th, okay. we have now picked up almost seven tons of litter. The work was impressive and appreciated. Just how much trash is going out here. And being so close to the beach, it's massively concerning because yeah. we don't want it going into the gutters and straight into the yeah. ocean. While most of this is trash and unusable, within this there may be some items that could be resold. And they're asked to stack them up here for what's called the give sale. They are taking some items that they find to the give sale so that it can be sold on Saturday and Sunday as well. And Earthcomb is bringing the usable items to the donation and sale site. Mostly what we've brought in is things like toasters and toaster ovens if they look clean, dishes, pots and pans, things that we can toss in and carry along with us. Not all the streets are like this, but many are. Del Playa and Sabado Tarde are probably the really gnarly ones. You don't see as anywhere near as much problems once you get into the more residential, you know, they're actually houses. People tend to take a little bit more care. As much as like we'll put it here when we come out the next morning, it's all on the street and been like rummaged through. In the end, this work is making a difference. By changing the culture, you can change how move out looks from year to year. So hopefully next year will be even better. And this is a real important time to clean this up because not only could it be a health and safety violation, if any of this gets into the ocean through the storm drains as they say or other ways, it would be an environmental issue as well and that's certainly something they don't want out here. Frankly, from what I've seen in years gone by, it's looking a lot better tonight than it has in some of the years gone by. There certainly is a strong effort to keep the streets of Isla Vista as clean as possible, as fast as possible. Reporting live in Isla Vista, I'm News Channel reporter John Palminteri. John, yeah, some years have been pretty rough. Thanks, John.